guys and welcome to Top Moments of 2018 in my battle report series. This year, at the beginning of it, I gave myself a challenge to record a battle report once a month. Despite not recording in November, I still managed to fulfill my challenge and record it every single month, except November, of course. And those battle reports that I recorded, they had some fantastic moments that I wanted to share with you. Starting off this list is a very important game for me. This year, me and Janus traveled to Sweden Malmö to take part in their local tournament called Lords of War, organized by Frederick, or some of you might know him as Scattered Dice from YouTube. So before arriving there, me and Frederick had negotiated a day to have a game and a battle report recorded. For this game, he took his Elysians, as his space was weren't done back then, at that time, which is very sad. But his Elysians proved to be a very tough cookie to crack. The Elysians in that game took the entire might of Hurm Blackheart and his Red Corsairs, but in the end the Elysians prevailed and defeated the forces of Hurm. Hurm had to make a run for it, but he was stopped by a small Elysian Cyclops, and this is what happened. At this point, I didn't score any uh, cards, but I got uh, Slide the Warlord and Purse Bot, yep. which is enough for me. Yep. So, Kuren decided to just order his Corsairs to move out from this planet and come here another day. Yep. But before he, after he does that, this one Cyclops is aiming at him. So, first off, the, uh, <laughs> this one is going to hover. Yes. To stay at a safe distance. And then the Cyclops will move yes. over here. Okay. So all the units within d6 inches. So it's everybody within two. Yes. We take two d6 strength nine hits. Yes. So who run first? So he will take five hits. Five hits. Strength nine. Okay. Wound on two. Okay. So he will take three moves. Sure. Or minus two. Minus two. Yeah. So one will go on his block. Yeah. Two left. Yes. And minus two, so four passing rooms. Yeah. Uh, fail bot. D3 damage. So it's. Uh, uh, he is. Yeah? Yes. This? Yes. Unless the vulture shoots. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and the psyker, he takes eight hits. Minus twos. That's the roll. <laughs> so seven, seven minus two saves. Seven minus two. He gets He can? He... Minus two. Yeah. Does he have the seat of corruption? No. Yes. No. No, no uh, fail, fail. So how many? Uh, four. 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 He takes four d3. So he's six. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. He takes the brawl <laughs> for four run. <laughs> That's... And then this little baby goes home. Yes. But that was a fun game. Yeah. Better. Thank, Thank you very much yeah, for having me here. Very unlucky with the cards, of course. Yes. Man, that encounter was very fun, as it felt like I was part of the Red Horsers at the time, as I was invading Sweden and their local gaming club, but ultimately I was stopped by Frederick and his forces of Elysians. But at least I didn't escape empty-handed. Man, playing against Sven is always fun, that's why he's in the next one. He has a new army, Thousand Sons, which had to be featured in the last battle report of the year. But it wasn't the first time that they made their appearance on the channel. We had a game of 2 vs 2, Chaos vs Custodius, where me and Sven were teamed up against Janos and Tano and against their Custodius. It looked very good for us at the, at the beginning, but then Sven decided to backstab me and my Red Corsairs, casting a psychic power with his Magnus against my Demon Prince, killing it off ultimately. So it couldn't be forgiven, and that's why he's in the last battle report. But what happened in the last game is beyond any coincidence.
thousand sounds got secure objective number two which is behind this wreck of a rhino near the cast bikers and Horon himself then we have big game hunter score my victory point at if at least one enemy unit war with a wound charge risk of 10 or more was destroyed during this turn and then priority order received rich ritual slaughter basically Sven's warlord must kill nine or more models from a unit and then he gets four victory points and all of the sudden the cultists are not feeling so safe anymore <laughs> we start off with Dotted Kran casting changes firestorm on these boys it's warp charge seven if I cast it I roll nine dice and each six is a mortal wound okay I get plus one because I am a dude Ooh. I'm gonna use a command point to reroll that. Probably a bad idea, but you know. Done with a nine. Yes. So I'm gonna roll nine, nine dice. We hope for a lot of sixes. I uh, hope for a lot of sixes. One mortal wound. One guy dies. One guy dies. From the front. Not that it matters. Let's go on to smite. The same guy. Same guy. Right. I need, I need four plus to succeed because I'm plus one because of the relic, and I get a ten. All right. No, that's still and ten more than ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't. But it's D three. D three. Roll and one. I, I do one mortal wound. One more guy dies. So seven more to kill. And. Not that impressive right now. Not that impressive. Uh, my. Uh, Exalted. Champagne, sorcerer. Exalted sorcerer is going to use a pistol and shoot those dudes there. Yes. One shot. It's a hit. It's a strength four. It's a. No. A lot. A it's lot a command nothing. point. Are you sure? It's a command point. In your shooting phase, you want to spend a command yes. point on that. It's a wound, AP minus two. So one guy dies? Yes. Just take out some random dude. You're killing them one by one. Tote Kron will charge your puny, puny men. Four attacks with uh, my uh, four stave. Yes. So two to hit. Uh, and that is a re-rolling of ones because I'm a thousand sun myself as well. All hit. Great. And strength six, so two plus the wound. Yeah. Uh, gonna reroll this. Command, command reroll this little one. So four dead. Yep. And finally the blades of the disc. So two plus hit. It's a hit. hit. And three plus the wound. Nope, nope. It's another wound. So you kill in combat four guys. And three guys can hit back. For these guys, it's impossible to pass their legitimate test. So I'm going to use a stratagem, insane bravery, spending two more command points and auto-passing my leadership. And then I use Tides of Traitors, spending two command points of, on this unit of Chaos Cultists to bring them out of harm's way into this corner, which they now can secure objective number three. Yeah. Now this guy, how's his name? Uh, Tote Kran. Tote Kran found where the Chaos Cultists moved <laughs> and is eyeing them again. He wants that blood. Now this guy, how's his name? Uh, Tote Kran. Tote Kran found where the Chaos Cultists moved <laughs> and is eyeing them again. He wants that blood. I think I'm gonna smite here because it's the closest to me. Okay. Uh, that's a six, it's a cast and I'm gonna do... You get plus one. Yes, I get plus one. Yep. But I cast it on a five plus yes. always. It's three mortal wounds and I score ritual slaughter. And actually one guy runs from that. So at the end of turn one I score six Cure objective six because yes, my back. are on it. I'm uh, uh, working and defend objective one on there with terminators, so and I scored ritual slaughter with my uh, warlord. warlord. Yes, cool. I slaughtered some uh, ritually some dudes. Besides, guys, drawing ritual slaughter that only his warlord could achieve was very fluffy and very narrative. And also, I couldn't cast a single psychic power in that game, so Zinch was definitely present 
at that game. Moving up the ladder, we have a rematch between Nia and Travis from Finland and his Wolves. We had an encounter previously this year in which Travis thought that I won thanks to cheap tricks. I on the other hand want to prove him wrong, so we decided to have a rematch. So I took my army, took my stuff and traveled back to Finland to face those Nordic space wolves in Wolfer. The damaged uh, Malofint charging the okay. Okay. Overwatching! Never mind. <laughs> no. And then I'm gonna roll this twice for the, the bolters. Nothing. And. Yay, one! No wound! So, charging. I think you're in still. Let's double check. Yeah, you're in. Yep. Okay, so yeah. the second ball of in the same target. Yep. You're in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the biker is the same target. Yep. I mean. Yep. And now the Heldrake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you okay. know what will be funny? Mm -hmm. If I want to deny you all the accesses. Oh, the that, that's a dirty trick. To yeah, do that's that. a dirty trick. But would you would you really do that to? Can, you know what? Let's do it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the Heldrake just flies on the other side. Yeah. And now I'm going to position them. Mm. All my uh, charges went off. Uh, Travis, in response, he heroically intervened uh, and yelled on the duels bikers and the battle champion. Mm -hmm. Battle champion? Uh, company Ancient. Company Ancient yep. into the Flamers. So now, charges, and I'm going to start with the Melta squad okay. attacking the Land Rider, and we'll start with the champion of his Power Fist. Mm -hmm. So hitting you on force. Yep. There we go! Five uh, sixes give me one more attack. Yep, yep. Okay. With a power fist. Yep. So hitting. Yep. Nope, that's a miss. Yep. So now needing. Four ups. Four ups. Yeah. One wound. Yep. Only one wound. Minus three to armor? Uh, power fist, I think so, yeah. Yep, okay. Uh, and that's gonna be a five? Nope. Nope, it's a four. Yep. So D3 damage? Is it D6? D3. D3, sorry. Oh. Two. And three normal attacks. Yep. Again, one six. Six. And now we need fives. Yep. Six is actually six. Six is so still a six. Yeah. Two up. Saves. Saves. And now I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend one command point on Demon Forge. Yep. And use rolling it. Rolling to wounds. Rolling to wounds and to hits. Yep. On the well health that. On, on the he healthy one. Why not? I would have done it on the wounded one, but yeah. You know your codex better than I would. It doesn't matter. Mm. Oh yeah, they're both the, the same capacity. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm so I'm down to four command yep. points. And now the pain begins. So four attacks with the Malorfin fist. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's going to be hitting on force. Hitting on force, yep. rolling. Oh yes! Thank God. Now that's better. That's much better, yeah. That's much better. Uh, straight. Yeah, so wounding on two ups. Yeah. Uh, uh, wound. Uh, uh, minus three to the armor. Minus three and damage three. One. Boom. So he's at two. Four damage so far. Okay. Twelve wounds left. All right. Now I'm going to attack with the six slash and turners. Yep. Same, uh, same gist. Yep. Oh, six. So we're on those. Yep. And now it's string is six. Six? Okay, so five six. Oh, there we go. I'm uh, rolling this. Yep. So three. It's yep. minus two. Okay, so four ups. Okay, so two go through. Yep. So minus two. Uh, damage two. Damage so two, so it's, it's uh, another four. four. So he's eight. So he's halfway down. Okay, so the second model three now. Yep. Let's do the legendary under force. Yep. But you don't get the rerolls in this one, right? No. Okay, yep. But here I didn't need it. Yep. 
Three. Minus two. Nope. So that's six. So he's down to two wounds. Yep. So the fist. Yep. Ooh, this is uh, not looking good. Oh, all wounds. So minus three. Minus three, so five ups. Oh! So does it explode? Uh, it's doing automatic three damage, so. No, no bummer. Ooh. Okay. But now how can no? You have to disembark first and then remove the model. Ah, okay, yep. Oh. That was my dick move. That was your dick move. That was my dick move. Except. See yeah. Ragnar. Yes, you have place there. And. Three so you have inches, the... And then one inch. And then the wolf priest. He fits. Okay. And then. One inch is there, and then everyone else is dead. All right. Now that's a massive victory for me, right here and there. Ooh, we'll see about that. You saw, guys, wolves are, were out of the league this time, and they were ultimately crushed by Hurum Blackheart and his Red Corsairs. Man, it's so nice to know that you actually accomplished something very important in your life. And by that I mean destroy the Rhino and its passengers. So remember the last time I said that the rematch between me and Travis only happened because Travis was unhappy with my victory and how it happened? So this is what happened there. This moment happened by the very end of the game where Ragnar actually managed to sneak behind Huron and challenge him into one-to-one -one combat. We decided with Travis that there will be no interference between these two very bulky space marines and let them duel it out on one-on-one. -on -one. This is the outcome. So Huron will attack with his Tyrant Squad, yep. so fist, of course, so yep. five attacks, hitting on trees. Yep. We're rolling once. Yep. No sixes, sadly. Okay. There so we go. that's four hits. Yeah, that's four hits. It's enough to kill the puppies. It's enough to kill the puppies. So two plus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here we go. Four. So that's two wolves gone. Yep. And then uh, Ragnar, two four ups. Yep. Done. Four ups or two ups? Yep. Four ups, so he takes, uh, what is it, three wounds? Uh, let's double check that. Yep. Uh, D3 wounds, actually. D3, okay, yeah, that's what happens. Yep. So, it's yep, three. three wounds. The Space Wolf were actually too, too excited to get the Cruiser back. That, that's, maybe, but let's see. They've come back from worse. <laughs> so now will be counter-attack from the Great Corsairs. Mm -hmm. Then we bring two up to smite this one mm -hmm. on the guide. And then we go for it. we did it off camera, but the yeah, other thing killed off basically every single guy except the one remaining one. Uh, I decided it would be a man mm -hmm. and uh, face off Ragnar face to face. Oh, Saki face. Yep. Smite from Huron. Yep, because he's a coward. Oh, yep. Saki smite. Yep. It's, yep. So D3. Yep. You're dead. Yeah. Wow, isn't that satisfying? And so from the Deadly blow from Spite. Yeah. Huron claims his victory. Yeah. And his cruiser back. Yeah. Space Wolves will not get the cruiser back. No. And Ragnar's plan to yeah. backstab yes. Huron failed. Up in failed. His face as normal. I'm personally very happy with the outcome of that game. I think that Huron won that combat fair and square with no sneak attacks whatsoever. And besides, our rematch ended in the same result. Huron's winning. And that brings a smile to my face. Now, the next two clips were very hard to place on the leaderboard, but they had to be done. So the next game that I want to present to you is a game between me and Janos at the start of the year, where Janos went back to his roots and brought Blood Angels, led by my fist stand. This game was very funny and a lot of crazy things happened in this matchup. We even had a dreadnought brawl for crying out loud. So what else would happen? Huron striking Mephiston with his Tyrant's Claw and not his axe. For so 5 attacks, it's minus 1 hit. So going to hit on trees, rolling once. And then, thanks for his World Trade, I'm going to roll wounds as well. So, hitting trees, rolling once, sadly no sixes. Uh, so, 2 hits. Oh, no, 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 sorry, 4 hits. 
and wounding you on trees. So, two wounds. Yeah, we're running. Exactly. So, three wounds. Do you want the paints? No. First, uh, five up save. Yep. Make that. So, save one. So, roll the damage. So, it's D3 damage. So, it's uh, five. I might actually kill my system here. <gasps> <laughs> no! <gasps> Not meant to be. That was such an underwhelming performance from Goron this time. Now we see why Mephiston is a legend in the lore and in, on this battlefield. I'm lost for words, guys. I don't know how lucky can you be or what Chaos Gods you have to pray, but Janus definitely does, and he prays. And here you have it, guys, our number one spot. Now Mephiston versus Huron definitely deserves to be number one. But just this moment, the insanity, the luck, and the just sheer coincidence that happened in this matchup of Heldrick versus Avatar of Cain just beats it in my book. Here we have it, guys. And of course it's Sven again. And the Hel Heldrake, I will try and risk it and target the avatar which is his forward. And if he kills the uh, Heldrake here, it will be the White Walker from King of France. He will be. I hope not. The Heldrake is flaming the avatar. Wait, five flamer hits. I'm using uh, my uh, Demon Forge strategy, which gives him to reroll to wound. And all five wound. Now it's the AP is minus two, so Sven's trying to save five plus. Yep. Yep. Five plus saves. Save one. Yes. But on a five plus, you ignore them. Uh, so each one does two damage, right? Yes. So that is H eight dice. Yes. That's exactly how many wounds he has. No fives, please. Save I... two. All right. So he has two wounds remaining. Okay. And now it charges. Heldrake is charging him. Uh, Overwatch from the avatar. Nope. Oh. Charge. I mean. Mm. So you strike first. Yep. So attacking with my four attacks, needing trees. Um, <laughs> the claws do d3 damage. I uh, try to win as well, please. Yeah. Okay. So strength 7, toughness 6. 3 plus. Yes. This here. Both wound. Both wound. Uh, so 2 5 ups, 6 or yeah. 3 ups. Any armor reduction? Minus 1. Minus 1, so it's a 4 plus armor okay. save. Saves 1. Yeah, 1 fails. And how many damage? d3. So you roll a d3. And you have two left. Yeah. So that's one. No, nope, I'm using a command point. They're rolling that. So two. Yep. Two five up saves. Yes. Save, Save one. one. So one wound left. One wound left. And it's time to hit back with yep. five attacks. Uh, hitting on twos. It's all but one. Uh, Strength 8, toughness 7. Yes. So 3 plus 2. And each does d6 damage. Ooh. All wound. All wound. And it's minus 4 to armor. So 5 plus in vulnerable saves? Yes, you have 4 arm uh, in wound save. None. None. And each does a d6 damage, and every time I roll 2 and pick the highest. So okay. the first is. I'll read all that. Yeah. The first is 3 damage, the second is 5 damage, the third is 6 damage, and the last one is 1 damage. So you get uh, so it's destroyed. 15 damage. Yeah, it's destroyed. Let's see if you blow up. I want to blow up. I do. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> oh no! 
Oh. So the Heldrake is taking someone down with him. So let's start with the Avatar. No, no, no. Let's start with uh, the bikes. How you want to? Yeah, yeah. Let's keep the Avatar for the last. The bikes. bikes. The so one. one more to do, which makes gives. Sorry. Uh, one takes one damage. Yep. So let's say far this uh, far here. One. Uh, one. Uh, this far here. Far here. Three. Three. Oh shit! Is he dead? <laughs> Okay. No, I don't think he's dead. Uh, he, let's see. Farf here has five minutes. Yeah, so it's 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 alive. Left. It's alive. Spirit here. Mm, yes. That Three. is crap because I think he has only only a few wounds. Uh, spirit here, I am afraid, is gonna blow up. It has only four wounds. So, so one, one left. wound left. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. <laughs> Uh, the raid guard? Yes. One. Yeah, so one takes one damage. And the avatar. Uh, the avatar. He has one wound left. Uh, one wound left. Three. Three. Ignores. Uh, and fives. Fives. Ignores no. all but one. So he's dead? He should be dead, but I'm gonna use. Uh, as this is the fight phase, yep. I'm gonna use avatar resurgent, three command points. Okay. I roll a d6 and he survives with that many wounds. Whoa! He survives with six, six wounds. <laughs> wow! Oh, that's broken. That's three command points gone. I have only one left. So with that, the Hell Drake is killed. He flies over this deployment of Elder, burning them while he crashes. But the Gold's Helm of the two Farseers managed to save one more to wound on each. And the avatar is resurrected for, to his full capacity, pointing at the dead body of a Heldrake. So that wraps up the video, guys. A lot of crazy moments happened in this year, as you saw. And I hope that next year we have even more crazy moments and funny moments at that. I really enjoy filming them, I really enjoy posting them on YouTube to share with you. So I wish you only the best luck, guys, for the next year, 2019, and I see you then. Bye.